Welcome to my 2017 late summer video. Typically we wait till September or so to do our early fall video. We have exciting things to talk about and I couldn't wait. Uh, about a decade ago, we created the Sea of Junipers and it's an amazing, it was an amazing feat then. And over the years, uh, the junipers have, uh, have uh, sold and uh, so it was time to uh, recreate the Sea of Junipers. And we have enriched the Sea of Junipers by adding about a thousand trees. And I'm really excited to show you these today via the video. We wanted to show you a little bit different viewpoint of the Sea of Junipers. It, it, it truly is massive. And uh, uh, when you, shop at my nursery or able to uh, you cross the bridge and immediately you're you're right at the beginning of the sea of junipers and uh, uh, we super irrigate because old trees it's hard to keep wet so we super irrigate them and therefore it's always wet here so be prepared when you're when you're uh, touring through the, the sea that uh, you're prepared dressed for it this is room two where we keep the size two junipers, smaller than the largest ones in the sea, but hold on to your hat. These, these guys are very, very dramatic. And I just picked this one at random. There's, uh, there's around 200 in this room. And uh, uh, just about every one of them is a uh, feature specimen bonsai. Room three is also chock full of, of uh, the new junipers. Uh, there's about 200 in here to choose from and uh, I wanted to just talk about this one per particularly uh, uh, because on one side it, it evidently had foliage around it so that foliage kind of went away so I can show you what the, what the trunks look like so I'm going to turn it around where you can have that view this is a close-up view of the tree I just mentioned and uh, what I wanted to point out is the incredible, yeah, here it is. I'm standing behind it, so it's hard to uh, keep my thoughts. But the trunk actually comes out solidly from the ground and makes a beautiful, sinuous flow leading to the top of the tree. And, and you have many ways to create, there's two or three apex possibilities there. That's what this room's all about. It's a, it's a gnarliness. As we exit here, we're, we're headed to the next group of junipers. I'm real excited to show you those. The last couple of years, we've been just chock full of bonsai classes. We did more this summer than we did in previous, the previous few years. And uh, it's been a real, uh, I think, an entertaining and learning experience for people getting into bonsai. This is my classroom size bonsai. Uh, some of them very close to maybe a year away from being a a uh, show hen specimen. Uh, they're, that, they're that dramatic. So you have all sizes to look at. The ages will vary in this room uh, from this one here that's in the, in the two to three, three year range that already has nice character to be a future bonsai to this size right here. And the, the actually uh, the majority of this room, uh, just to give you the numbers, there's probably uh, 400, to, between four and 500 of these most of them newly added, so they've got character that's just incredible. This is the one of the, this is the, a fairly new cutting. It's it's a it's about a two year, and uh, but you can go through these. There's uh, many many to look at, and I just chose this one because it already has kind of an interesting stature. Uh, that would you know make a uh, wired out that and make an incredible little mommy uh, juniper bonsai. And the majority of this room is the, is the class size juniper. And these will vary from like six to eight years old. This one's quite nice. And I chose this one to talk about because you can see, it was easy, easy to see inside. You've got a nice nabari, a very nice nabari. And then you have a, uh, a, a bend starting very low. And it does a couple of bends. You've got branches on all, uh, at all points uh, to, that gives you lots of choices. So, uh, 
I'm really high on my gr new group of uh, instructional uh, junipers for bonsai. The Harlan Boxwoods. Uh, I have showcased this in, in previous videos. Very excited about Harlan's. They are, uh, they kind of give us all we, uh, a great satiation of having the tiny leaf boxwood with the rugged white bark and the bonus of a, a bizarre amount of blooms in the spring. It's like the tree that does everything. If I was choosing a tree that would probably be the best all around one tree to have in your collection, it would be a Harlan boxwood. Uh, the group I'm going to speak about today I'm really excited about because uh, we've taken them from a, uh, a raw uh, pre-bonsai, still at the pre-bonsai stage, but it's one that you can kind of see by just mo turning the pot around. You can see a tree in every one of these. And uh, the, this, these trees are, can end up being, you know, five, six inches tall. It's the perfect tiny shohing tree to, you know, get out there and find that really nice, expensive shohin bonsai pot because it's worthy of that. And uh, I just added a hundred of these to my uh, already uh, nice selection, but uh, really excited about this new approach. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Uh, I hope that you're able to come visit the nursery. If not, I'll be looking forward to talking to you on the phone. Uh, we have lots of excitement going on uh, throughout the fall. And that is, uh, obviously, we'll have uh, uh, classes that we'll certainly advertise. But what I'm really uh, excited about is we're putting, after 30 years, I've decided to have a, a, uh, a point of sale building that is, that's its job. It will showcase nice pottery, tools, and uh, I'm really excited. And the construction of that is, uh, will happen early fall. And, uh, We'll, we'll be showing that off in probably the next video. It's always fun to see a tree that I sold 15 years previous. And I'm going to uh, show, showcase two trees that we just acquired. And each of these I sold about 15 years ago. The first one is from Masishi in California. It's a, an Itogawa in his uh, uh, his famous for twisted style and this is just a beautiful beautiful example of his work and uh, uh, like this has just like a textbook nabari and uh, just makes me feel good to see this tree and especially was I was able to acquire it back and uh, uh, it'll be on the sales block with, along with all the other new trees for fall this tree is also an Itogawa sold around 15 probably 15 to 17 years ago and it is a fabulous piece it's from japan and uh, i remember this tree it was uh, probably not tremendously smaller but this is a tree that has been the right things have been done to it through various bonsai masters uh, doing their their art artwork on this tree it just has a beautiful, beautiful flow. Uh, it's, it would be, in my opinion, a best tree for most people's collection.